about a game. It's a red skin. Hello everyone. Today we will discuss one of the important topic in machine learning which is uh, confusion matrix. So it is nothing but uh, what is a confusion matrix? So which is a performance measure tool for a classification problem. Especially if you are dealing with classification task, one such performance measure is confusion matrix. This is a matrix, matrix that shows the actual and predicted values. As we said, it is a matrix. So, what are the elements of this matrix? See, this has the actual values the actual values the actual values are what are the actual values it can be positive it can be negative these are the actual values and it gives the predicted values it also represents the predicted so since it's a classification problem the model can predict it as a positive or it can be a negative so, in the predicted values also we have positive and negative. This is a matrix. For example, I mean it is not an example, it is a true representation. The actual, the actual element is positive and the predicted and the model also predicted as a positive, which we call it as true, pos true positive. We labeled it as TP. In the other sense, the actual, the actual value is positive, but the model predicted this as a negative. So, what, what is it now? The actual nature is a positive, but it is predicted as a negative. So, what, it, what is its representation? It is false negative. It is nothing but false negative and which is labeled as Fn, because the model predicted the model predicts the actual positive as a negative. So, what is, what is it by nature? It is nothing but false negative. Coming to the actual negative and predicted. Let us say the sample, the sample or the record is actually negative and the model predicted that as a positive. So, what is its notation now? It is a false positive because by nature it is a negative value but the model predicted it as a positive. So, we call it as a false positive, right. The other, the other entry in the matrix is the actual, the actual status is negative, the model predicted that as, that as a negative. So, see this correlation. By nature, its status is negative, the, the model also predict that as a negative. So, what is it now? it is nothing but true negative. It is nothing but true negative. So, now we can clearly formulate a matrix. We can clearly formulate a matrix with four entries. That is true positive, false negative, false positive and true negative. This is a very useful performance tool if you are working in working with a classification problem. There are so many parameters which you can measure or obtain from this matrix. One such parameter is accuracy. One such parameter is nothing but the accuracy. How to measure the accuracy? Always remember you need to consider the true positive as well as the true negative elements. The true positive plus true negative by divided by the total number of samples. What are the total number of samples in the data set now? The, su the sum of the sum of all these elements nothing but true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative. This will give you the classification accuracy. Suppose if you want to express this in terms of the percentage 
you multiply this with 100 this is nothing but the classification accuracy right now we can measure the next parameter which we can measure is precision so what is precision since the model predicts some positive values of which how many are correct how many positive values are correctly predicted by the model so which is expressed as true positive by true positive plus false positive okay the one more parameter which we can identify which we can obtain from the confusion matrix is recall so which is how many positive values were correctly identified by the model how many positive values are correctly identified the model which we call it as a recall so let us uh, find out the recall how many positive values are correctly identified by the model so this we can express from we can obtain from the confusion matrix that is true positive by true positive plus false negative so which is which is recall and find we can find one more parameter from the confusion matrix which is specificity which is specificity what is by specificity how many how many actual negatives were identified the identified by the model that is true negative by true negative plus false negative so the model also predicts the true negatives how many negatives were correctly identified by the model is called specificity which is expressed as true negative by true negative plus false negative okay we can find we can find one more parameter from the confusion matrix which is f1 square one more useful parameter if you are building any ml model for any specific for any data set so that is uh, called as f1 square f1 score what is f1 score this represents the harmonic mean of precision and recall precision and recall the expression for this is 2 into pr that is 2 into precision into recall by the precision value by the sum of the sum of precision and recall right uh, we will find two more parameters from this con confusion confusion matrix that is false positive rate and false negative rate what is false positive rate and what is false negative rate how to determine these two parameters from the confusion matrix so see here so we aim to determine false positive rate or false positivity that is nothing but it is a ratio between false positive by the sum of false positive and true negative which represents the false positive rate for the model similarly false negative false negative rate so which is nothing but fn by the sum of fn plus true positive right so this is nothing but false positive rate and false negative rate these are the parameters that we can determine from the confusion matrix so once you are able to construct the confusion matrix so which is which is very useful tool for classification problem which is expressed in the form of a matrix with actual positive and negative values versus predicted positive and negative values so before we end this topic i will quickly recap the confusion matrix that is 
actual positive versus predicted positive actually it is positive the model also predicted it as a positive which we call it as true positive actual status is positive but the model predicted it as a negative nothing but false negative actual actual sample status is negative and the model predicted it as positive which is nothing but false positive and similarly the actual status of the sample is negative but the model predicted it as negative both are negative actual status is negative and false and predicted it also is negative nothing but true negative so don't confuse with the positive and negative okay it can be 1 and 0 okay it can be a positive and negative very useful uh, performance tool for classification problem thank you